Number practice, review 14. 14 is one whole set of 10, 10, that's the number one, plus four more. Four is that tricky number. We make an L and we jump up and we come straight down one line. So a 14 looks like this, one whole set of 10 plus four more. We make that four, which stops right there. You take your pencil off, you jump back to the top and you make your four come down like that. Okay, 14 has the number four written in it, F-O-U-R, four. So that means you have four, which is an F, O-U-R, O, U, and an R. So the number four, and then the word teen, four, teen, T E, E, and an N. Remember the word teen kind of helps us think 10. So 14 is 10 plus four more. F. O U R. It's kind of hard for me to write, but I'm trying my best there. 14. Cap. Put that um, T up there. It's a tall T E E and an N. Try to write 14 at least two times. Okay, you have enough space there for at least two attempts at this big word 14. All right, now let's go on a hunt for 14. We see here lots of numbers to name, and let's call them out and search for 14. We have 0, 14 right away there. 1, 8, 13, 9, 25, 2, 4, 26, 14. 21, 5, 7, 14. 3, 25, 3, 9, 8, 14. 2, 8, 14, 24, 3, 0, 5, 14, 3, 20, 0, 5, 3, 0, 29, 14, 3, 7, 14, 8, 10, 14, 9. Okay, next are our tally marks that we challenge ourselves with each time we do this. We're going to make a number page that equals 14. And one of your jobs today is to draw 14 snowflakes. 14 snowflakes. So let's start with our tally marks. And since there's going to be snowflakes today, we'll do blue color. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So not another set yet. We have five plus five plus four. And that gives us the number for our number page challenge today, which is 14. How can we make 14? We're going to make snowflakes. So your job is to do these little slant lines here. This is what a snowflake can look like. So you need to come up with 14 of those. Maybe you want to do them in groups of two. And you could count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So you draw two all the way across, okay? You can also do dice today, coming up with different ways to add up. To 14, you need more than two dice because the largest number you can get with two dice is six plus six, which is 12, and that would not be enough. So let's say I have six here and another six here. That's only 12. How much more would I need? Two more. So I may have the problem six plus. Six, since I know my double fact, six and six is 12. If I add two more, I'm just counting up from 12. 12, 13, 14. So six plus six 
plus two more, add two more, equals 14. Okay, so there's lots of ways that we can make 14. Another way I'd like to show you today is doing more of our tens grids. This is tricky, but I want to show you how to use the tens grid to help you think of your subtraction problems. Remember, you're going to think of it as 20. Having two whole tens, okay? Two whole tens. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and then you have five. So this is 10. If you add up all these boxes, 10 plus 10 is 20. So if I'm going to make 14, that means I'm going to use one whole set of 10. So I would have to color in one of my whole sets of 10. And I could use a different color if I wanted to show it. So I need all of these squares here, all 10 squares. But then I only need four more, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? So one of my problems could be 10 plus four. 10 plus four equals 14, 14, okay? Now I wanna show you how to do the subtraction problem. So let's think about this. You're gonna start with the big number, which we know is 20, because we're gonna use our 10 frames, 20. Then you're gonna look here at the colors, the boxes we did not color in. Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I have 20 baskets, okay? And I take six baskets and I give them away to somebody. I am left with only 14 baskets. I can see that right here on the tens grid. If I take six away, I'm left with 14 out of the 20. So this is an example of your subtraction problem. Now don't forget that this is only the value of two. On yours, you need to draw 14 snowflakes. Today, you're number 14, and I think you can come up with a lot of different ways to represent the value of 14.